Sophia Grace Brownlee and Rosie McClelland are two adorable British girls who rose to fame when they recreated their own version of Nicki Minaj's Super Bass in 2011. Talk show host Ellen DeGeneres saw the clip and invited them onto her show. That appearance launched the girls' career as tutu-wearing YouTube personalities and talk show frequenters. They've since appeared regularly on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and hosted several red carpet events, rubbing elbows with all sorts of celebs, and becoming celebs themselves in the process. The tiny twosome have also written books, released a movie, and created their own dolls. And Sophia Grace has a blossoming music career. From rapping with Minaj to sipping tea with Justin Bieber, here are some of the girls' best on-screen moments. Meeting Nicki Minaj when the pint-sized pair actually got to meet their idol on The Ellen Show in October 2011, Sophia Grace screamed at an octave only dogs can hear. Yeah! The girls got to play dress-up with Minaj wearing huge wigs and big sparkly bows and, of course, they rapped with her on stage. Sophia Grace's hype girl Rosie was quiet throughout but she was probably losing it on the inside. Not only could she sling those rhymes on cue, but the pressure of meeting her idol didn't slow her down for a second. That's impressive at any age. Tearing it up at Toys R Us the day after they appeared on Ellen in 2011, Sophia, Grace, and Rosie went on the ultimate little girl's shopping spree wearing the most perfect necklaces of all time. A large glittery plastic ice cream cone and a hot pink pretzel given to them by Minaj. At one point during the spree, Sophia, Grace was rendered speechless by all the spoils. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. After filling their carts with Disney princesses and Hello Kitty themed toys, the girls climbed into a hot pink Power Wheels Cadillac and acted like little bosses. Let's hit the road, girl! The AMA's Part 1 The first time Sophia, Grace, and Rosie hosted the red carpet at the American Music Awards in November 2011, they freaked out over meeting some of their favorite pop stars for the first time. But they still kept it together well enough to perform under pressure. Do you guys know any of my songs? Sophia Grace screeched with glee the entire time. Meanwhile, an excited but overwhelmed and slightly confused Rosie looked on. They both looked like they belonged right there on the carpet and won the hearts of everyone they talked to. Grammy's Museum Takeover on an early episode of the Sophia Grace and Rosie show, which the girls launched in 2011, they explored the Grammy Museum in Los Angeles. The girls got to dance in front of Michael Jackson's wardrobe as Sophia Grace performed Thriller. Cause this is Thriller, Thriller night. Sophia Grace also rapped, which she continues to be surprisingly good at. And then she and Rosie formed an impromptu band and geeked out about the Beatles being British, naturally. Tea Time with the Beliebers the generous arranged for Sophia, Grace, and Rosie to meet Justin Bieber in September 2012 on a recurring segment called Tea Time with Sophia, Grace, and Rosie. During the soiree, the Biebs even gave Rosie a kiss on the cheek, but her reaction was not what you'd expect. I'm going to it off my dad's phone because my dad will be really jealous. Yeah, she deleted it off. Bieber and the girls discovered they had a lot in common. They all enjoy bowling and cake. The kicker, of course, was when they served up a performance of Baby and nailed it, as always. Hosting the Grammys Red Carpet By the point Sophia, Grace, and Rosie got to cover the Grammy Awards in 2012 and 2013, they were seasoned pros. The best moment of 2012 was when they sat down for sandwiches and juice boxes like they own the place. I'm, um, I've got hungry, so we're having a little snack. Sandwiches! You can't beat that. You really can't. Meeting actual princesses in May 2013, Sophia, Grace, and Rosie visited the Magic Kingdom in Disneyland and met all of the Disney princesses. This is a big deal, given that these two girls have modeled their entire personal style off of those legendary ladies. The best part was when they revealed just how imaginative their little minds still were, despite all the attention and fanfare. We went to the beach a few times. You did? Did you see all the seagulls? Once, yeah, so I saw a mermaid tail, one of yeah. your sisters. Oh, I bet it was my sisters. Oh, I see mermaid. Becoming Big Sisters in November 2013, Sophia, Grace, and Rosie announced on The Ellen Show that their moms were pregnant at the same time. Whereas other children might get upset about losing their baby of the house status, these two were delighted by the news. I've been wishing every birthday and it's finally come true. Yeah, I've been waiting for this my whole life. The best part? Their ideas for their new siblings' names. I would call one, like, Rainbow or Sparkle. Of course she would. Returning to Ellen. 
When the girls returned to Ellen four years after their first appearance, Sophia Grace talked about her one-year-old little sister, who had obsessions and addictions, which included cell phones and lip balms. Meanwhile, Rosie talked about her little brother's love of chocolate and of her. It was the moment when Rosie started talking about her mother getting married that it became clear just how much she'd grown. At the start, in the ceremony, I got very emotional and I read a poem for my mom. And to think she was the shy one once upon a time. Taking the AMAs by storm. The second time Sophia Grace and Rosie served as correspondents on the red carpet of the American Music Awards in November 2015, they were still a little rattled by nerves over meeting some of their favorites. I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling fine. But they again kept it together enough to conduct some legitimate interviews. Do you have any crushes on girls? No, never. No, never again. No. Excuse me! <laughs> Clearly, there's a future for them in more than one aspect of the entertainment industry. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.